talking to you about a system that we train, we just call it the Gong Fu system. But in particular, how to use your boxing to set up your kicks. The way I like to look at it is it actually lets build twitches in our students to really just simplify it, look at the right side versus the left side, and to me, that will set up the kind of kick that you're gonna be using. So if we take a look at that first drill and we really dissect it, He's just doing a simple block, getting in a counter strike at the same time. He goes to throw his hook punch, cross, hook. But really what he's done when he's thrown his hook punch is he's loaded that back leg. So now just as his body, if I'm still staying here, he wants to throw that cross punch. If I'm not here because he's maybe hit me with that hook punch and I've fallen away, now this range tells him to throw that kick. So compared to saying always exit with the kick, I'll teach the body what to do and then just have a visual cue to get there. So again, if I throw this here and he hits me with that hook punch, right? I've fallen off the hook, he takes out the knee, now I'm down. Obviously you can use this in sparring, you can use it in your self-defense as well. But let's say that I'm good or I just get super lucky, he throws that hook and I slip out of the way. Now he fires that cross punch and he makes impact. All of a sudden now the weight is on his front leg. So because as he's made that impact, now I'm falling back a different way. He can use this to target into the ribs. If my hands are down, he can always use it to bring it up high as well, right? But really what we've done is we've taught the body to fire either the left or the right side. And then all you have to tap into is the visual cue. So when we do the drill, I can fire here, you can go hook, cross, hook, and he can kick. Again, here I can come in, he can go hook, cross, and he can kick again. Or you just make it super random and he fires here, and it can just be in, and he's just going. Don't try and overcomplicate your students when they're learning, because if you just teach them fire left side, fire right side, their boxing is gonna get better, their power is gonna be better, and then let the visual cue or the distance or the range change, allow that to tell them to use a different tool in the belt now. And for us, we just use our simple kicking, right? Roundhouse kicks, lead leg kicks. You can use whatever style you want from here, just trying to find ways to adapt it into your training with mitts that everybody trains. So I hope this helps you with your training. Have a great day. Take care.